Hi, I'm Tom Woosey and I'm here outside the Islamic Centre in Exeter. Uh, we're going to talk today to Libyans and members of the British public and find out their opinions about the crisis in Libya. Um, my name is Majda al -Ubaidi. I come from Libya. It's not safe to go back and then we decide to stay here. So what, what do you think? Would you be in danger if you went back to Libya? Or? Before, yes, but not now. Before Now is the, the problem sorted out, everything will we'll go back. But, um, but the problem now, what's happening in Libya, is uh, it's not safe at the moment. Do you think that they're doing enough in terms of, do you think airstrikes are enough? Or would you be in favour of, of ground forces, uh, NATO ground forces as well? No, no, we don't want any ground. We need, this is the revolution young people started. We want the young people to finish it. Do you think for the UK, do you think we're doing the correct thing in getting involved in this conflict at a time of, of recession in this country? Or do you think that should, shouldn't be a, an issue for us at all? Oh, this is a good, big question. I don't know about UK because UK sometimes they step in, in a good way and sometimes they take side, you know what I mean? The UK, they don't just, they want their own benefits. Okay, first of all, uh, if I can just ask you for your overall opinion um, of what's happening in Libya at the moment. I mean, do you think NATO are correct to have imposed a no-fly zone and do you think the airstrikes are a good thing? Uh, I think it's a difficult subject, isn't it? I mean. I think before the UN got involved, personally I think when there's civilians being killed by a dictator, uh, if you have the power to step in for good and you really think you can do good, then you have to do it if you're in a position to do so. I don't think, you know, we would have been in Zimbabwe, we would be in, you know, the Congo, we would be in a lot of places if it was purely humanitarian, but I think it's easy to condemn the fact that, you know, we do go into these places where there is oil. Uh, I think there is two sides to every story. Um, I wouldn't like to give a very definite opinion on it because I'm unqualified to do so. Um, firstly, do you think what NATO are doing are correct? Do you think the no-fly zone is the right thing for us to do or for NATO to do? My point of view is Great Britain, yeah, England, doesn't help anyone until they, they get benefit out of it. They don't help anyone, no one. They went to Iraq, they destroyed the country, yeah? Afghanistan, why did they go to Afghanistan for? Oil, man. Um, do you think that's the right thing to do, or, or do, you, do you think there, there would be better ways to approach the situation? I think it's, wrong. it's not the right thing to do, and I think it's, there is a better way to, you know, to solve the problem. It's never a war, and a war doesn't solve anything. You know, it's, it's destroy instead of destroy. You know. So, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's not the right thing to do. So do you think there's a chance that we could end up in a similar situation to like what's happened in Iraq and Afghanistan? Afghanistan? Like, do you think we'll send in ground troops or like, where do you think this is going to end? Well, I don't really know, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like it's going in the same direction, like in Iraq, you know. First they send a uh, plane to, to bomb and maybe, maybe troops, yeah, I never know. I think so, yeah, it looks like, you know, <laughs> that's the pitch I can see now, yeah. So what do you think what do you think the main real reason is? Do you think it's it is because of the humanitarian issues or do you think there's maybe financial motivations or why do you think why do you think they've decided to go in for Libya in particular? I think it's because of oil, you know, really the financial situation is not yeah, obviously they wanna help humanitarian people, you know, civilian but the main focus is the, the money, you know, is the is the oil down there. I think so in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Well, we've uh, heard many differing opinions in Exeter today. The predominant one maybe being that this is as much about oil and money as it is the humanitarian crisis. A little something to think about. This is Tom Woosley, signing off.